What makes a great creator PC? Well, we think we might have found some answers to this question in the Infinity XLC gaming PC from the team over at CyberPower PC. It has powerful modern components. It has a stream room worthy aesthetic. It even shows us how to use an ace that Intel haven't been coy about. And thanks to CyberPower PC and Intel for sponsoring this video, we get to tell you a thing or two about the Infinity XLC using this machine right here as a guide for aspiring creators looking for what they need in a creator PC. And it happens right here, right now on Robitech. As much as we love PC building around here at Robitech, and as hard as we try to make it accessible to more people, the reality is, is that the process of doing so isn't for everyone, and guys, that's completely okay. Fortunately, that's where system integrators like CyberPowerPC, who's sponsoring this video, come into play. Their whole goal is to get you the PC you need to do what you need it to do, whether that's gaming, streaming, content creation, or a combination of all three, or even something way beyond. But if you're looking to buy a PC for gaming, streaming, and content creation, we wanna explore a few questions in this video, like what kind of PC do you need to do all of that? Game, stream, and create content on one machine. What options does CyberPower PC offer? And does a PC powered by Intel enhance the creator experience? Again, these are the things we're gonna explore when trying to find a great creator PC. So let's go back to the first question because it's a really good place to start. I mean, we have to know what we're looking for. So what do you need for a solid creator PC? Since technology changes and everyone's needs are different, we're actually going to use the Infinity XLC gaming PC right here as the baseline for things we're looking for. For context, this PC costs around $3,400 before discounts at the time of making this video. Okay, so if we're looking at what makes a great creator PC, we need thing number one. A CPU that can manage gaming and streaming applications at the same time, but also handle video and photo editing. To that end, the Infinity XLC is equipped with a 24-core Intel Core Ultra 9 285K processor. Now, when it comes to the multitasking workflows we're looking at, like running OBS, powering your stream deck, or decks, keeping your chat window active, all while providing enough headroom for gaming, the 285K puts in the work to make all of that happen. It's fast and powerful, but it's also more power efficient than previous generations. But that's not all. We still need to create content, and fortunately, when it comes to Adobe Premiere, the 285K is an absolute beast. We've seen this CPU really excel in video production, especially when it comes to this application. Not only that, it's no slouch in Photoshop either. So this thing will handle your streaming, your gaming, and editing your videos and thumbnail, but this is only part of the picture. For a great creator PC, we're also going to need thing number two. And that's a GPU that can sustain steady frame rates at high visual fidelity alongside handling high quality video encoding and recording. For this, the Infinity XLC comes standard with an NVIDIA RTX 5080, which is a solid choice for both gamers and for creators. Now, all of that is great, but we still need thing number three which is enough system resources to keep up with production and play. This is where making sure you have enough RAM, storage space, and connectivity is key. The Infinity XLC comes standard with 32 gigabytes of RAM. It's got a two terabyte NVMe system and game drive, and a four terabyte hard drive for media storage, as well as a motherboard that comes Wi-Fi 7 equipped. But there was something else here that we discovered while we were looking at things that counted as resources, and that's the Intel Core Ultra's built-in NPU. Now, I know there's been a lot of talk about the importance of an NPU, but for gamers and content creators, it's all felt a little suspicious. One of those claims is that you can actually get back gaming performance by leveraging the Intel NPU3 versus using NVIDIA broadcast. So, since we're trying to figure out what we need in a great creator PC and streaming can be a part of content creation, we figured, you know what, what the heck? Why not put this claim to the test? And you know what? There is actually some truth here. Now, when we compared gaming performance with and without using NVIDIA broadcast with OBS, the performance hit was about 16% in both Cyberpunk 2077 and Marvel Rivals. But when we offloaded those same tasks from the GPU onto Intel's MPU3 using XSplit VCAM with OBS instead, that performance hit dropped to as low as around 5%. Now, we're still talking about average frame rates north of 200 FPS in each instance here, but it's cool to see that the MPU really can help a PC like this be more efficient at what it needs to do, which is really the name of the game when you need one system that can absolutely do everything. Again, what we're seeing here is very specific to XSplit, which, if you're using it, that's awesome. But as MPUs become more commonplace and as streaming applications start taking advantage of this technology, it really could have some positive benefits both today 
and in the future. So just to recap the categories again, a great creator PC needs one, a CPU that can manage gaming and streaming applications at the same time, but also handle video and photo editing. Two, that's a GPU that can sustain steady frame rates at high visual fidelity alongside handling high quality video encoding and recording. And three, that's enough system resources to keep up with production and play. Basically, it can't just be for gaming, it has to do more. So now that we know what we're looking for, how does CyberPower PC meet this need and what do they offer? Well, the answer to the second part is actually a lot. If you pop onto their website, you'll find tons of options, including starter configurations, monthly specials, ready to ship systems, and more. And then when we say starter configurations, we don't mean in the same sense as picking up a starter bike or starter Pokemon. These are configurations that can be modified to suit your needs. For example, let's say you like the Infinity XLC, but you want maybe more storage or maybe a different color. This is all stuff that you can totally swap out. And this is really a part of Cyber Power PC's not so secret sauce and one of the things that makes them special the ability to choose. Now, if that scares you, don't worry. The configurator is gonna tell you how much power is recommended for your specific configuration, as well as an idea of estimated gaming performance. And all of this happens in real time too, so you'll get a real time picture of how pricing, performance, and power change from making those swaps. Not only that, but you'll also find their latest promotions and deals like bundled games and discounts, as well as options for extra professional cable management, enhanced packaging, and enhanced warranty. Which, of course, speaking of warranty, every CyberPower PC machine comes with a two-year parts, three-year labor warranty with lifetime tech support. So let's just take everything we just talked about and put a bow on this guy to help find a great creator PC. When all of this was said and done, we landed at the Infinity XLC because we saw that it met our criteria for being a great creator PC today and with staying power going into tomorrow. The CoralTra 9285K is ready to handle the multitasking workload of content creation, gaming and streaming, photo and video editing, all of that stuff like a champ. Not only that, but the performance gains we saw in gaming while using the MPU for broadcast elements gave us hope for what other streaming tools could be handed off to an MPU for the future. The RTX 5080 is fantastic for both gaming and content creation, offering high quality gaming experiences alongside key features for streaming and video capture. And when we start putting these components together with everything else, the Infinity XLC really hits every beat of what we know works great for a creator PC. That being said, whether or not this is a great creator PC for you depends on you, the creator. At the end of the day, we wanted to provide a guide to help you take some of the choice paralysis out of shopping for a creator PC. And the Infinity XLC really does give us a fantastic point on the map for someone who is looking for, but has zero interest in tracking down parts and building a PC for themselves. And with that, we're gonna wrap up this video. Again, we wanna give a big thank you to both Intel and CyberPower PC for sponsoring this video. But we wanna know what you actually think. What are the features you look for when you're looking for a creator PC? Have you checked out a PC from CyberPower PC before? And what did you think about our discovery with the Intel NPU? Let us know that in the comments below. Now, while you're down there, go ahead and slap that subscribe button, whip that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you get a notification each and every time we post a video like this right here in Robitech. And if you wanna know more about the Infinity XLC or other systems from CyberPower PC, make sure you click the link down in the video description. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you on the next video.